How do you feel about her getting a giant, ridiculous-looking tattoo of him on her chest? I don't speak on other women like that. Right. I don't think they're important enough. Wow. You don't think I mean, you said you thought it was out of affection. I mean, I just think... I mean, that's I, just sad. I feel bad for her mental state I right feel, now I that she thinks that she that that was a, a no, smart decision. No, I can speak on... I'll speak... This is my thoughts. It's not bashing her or anything, whatever. If she wants to take it there, she can, but... It'll be obviously for clout or whatever, because I'm only speaking what anybody else would fucking think or say. Mm -hmm. Down to the fucking caption was him. The sarcasm, <laughs> the trolling and all. I was with him for seven years. So I, I'm i like, yo, he told her to write that. Mm. He told her to post that up. Like, this is crazy. The way I feel, this is my opinion. And many people will agree with me and many people won't. But fuck yeah. I feel like in a way he's using her as a puppet. To keep his name still going if it, if she can do that. Right. Because if not her, who? Because it's not like there's anybody who's who? really, like, communicating to the public on his behalf besides her. It's like who? And I try not to really speak on him too much. I'm it's like, really weird when you think about it. Like, she, like he, like, all this money, all this fame, but it's not like he seemed like he really has any friends at this point, right? I mean, I don't know about his social status at all. Because I, just, I mean, I in the rap game, really, it's going to be a very, very weird decision to be associated with him when he gets out. But, I mean, even... I don't know. I see it happening now. I've seen fucking people he's done songs with be like, oh, my brother, blah, 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 <laughs> even after whatever it is that he's right. doing. And... Be in my DM talking wild shit. Really? The, the craziest shit. I'm like, yo, y'all some trifling ass niggas. <laughs> like, y'all trifling. <laughs> you over here calling him your brother and then... Trying to fuck that. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, oh, just stay away. Really? Are you dating at all? Yeah, I am. She's got a man. <sighs> she promotes him on her Instagram story. He's a rapper. Oh. Yeah, I didn't really? know last time when we did the FaceTime interview, but oh, now so I you've know. been paying attention. I was just reading the comments. Remember when I exposed your number? Oh. Fuck you for that, yo! <laughs> I saw that happen. I, I was like, lesson oh. learned. You, you know what's crazy? I knew it wasn't intentional. The moment I hung up in his face, he was like, I was like, just like, oh, oh fuck! He I'm felt like, really bad. He texted really, me multiple really, times about it. <laughs> I really wanted to go off, but then I rewatched the interview, and I'm like. Oh, I really did. No. I felt so bad. He would bad. never. He's you been hacked before. And show you happened, what right? the fuck my phone was. I had to put my oh phone my on God, airplane I mode. Oh God. I was just getting calls from WhatsApp. <laughs> just the craziest shit, bro. FaceTime. <laughs> I, at some point, I was having fun with it, though. I was picking up the FaceTime calls. I'm like, stop fucking calling me. <laughs> Didn't you have a new number within like an hour? Yeah. <laughs> you have it to. Ha what it are you had to get do? done. It yeah. had to get done. Oof. If you only imagine my phone was nonstop I ringing so different numbers, there was like, Adam leaked your number on the live stream. I'm like, what the fuck? One time, I uh, uh, somebody hacked my Twitter back in the day and they exposed this like porn star's number, and that really made me feel bad too. <laughs> But now I hate her, so it's okay. Now I hate her. But, um, yeah. <laughs> he did not do it on purpose. I we saw should, his face. So we I was should like, leak your number again. No. <laughs> That's like a good way to really get at some somebody if you hate them. Like, well, okay. Just <laughs> leaking their number. As long as we're talking current events, let me tell you guys what happened. Is that, so you know the boy boy West Coast? No. Well, he's a Mexican god. Fucking, he's boy the, boy West Coast. Yeah, he's. The, I just he, found out about him. He's the, a meme. The dude with the crazy uh, facial hair and the double cup, and he has that song. You was in the club. No. Bottoms up when I first met you. What the? F <laughs> That's how he sounds. Yes. Oh, then I don't think I want to know. It's who kind the of fuck a meme. Is. Let me let me if we, if I just show you my Instagram right here. Boy boy West Coast. Boy boy West Coast. This mm. dude. Does that, does that? Oh, I seen. Yeah. I, you seen the meme, right? I didn't see the meme, but I saw when you posted him. Yeah. You was it? <laughs> What's crazy about his hair? He just got the craziest mustache. And his eyebrows are and insane, too. And his eyebrows, too. yeah. Yo, I went to high school with so many guys that look like him. Is that weird? 
Are you from yeah. out here? Yeah. Uh, so that might be regular. I, I mean, feel like it's pretty like normal looking okay, to me. He regular has kind of like that. Mexican. Right. He has sort of like a gangster slash like cholo thing going on. But then I he also it. is like a strange version of it with that fucking manicured eyebrow thing and the Yo, mustache and shit. eyebrows, yeah. But okay, here's the thing. is that So some girl today, like well, uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened, but we did the interview. And then all of a sudden today, this girl leaked a conversation she, she was having with him. And she leaked his number as well. It got deleted off Twitter because of that, but everybody has screenshots and shit. But basically, like, he was talking to her and he was like trying to get her to like come fuck, and like she was just like taking forever, like sort of beating around the bush, whatever. And then he just straight up calls her the hard R, and people are tripping on Twitter about it. I don't know if it's real, but it seems real. The wow. number she leaked was the number I had too. So, oh wow, he probably had to change that. I, I, there's some girl right now who just like leaked NBA Young Boy's number, really? Tiger's number. She's leaking everybody's number. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, and one of those numbers was like official, so I was like, oh, really? Yeah. You know what yeah. I just heard? I just heard that after the Selena Powell interview, that NBA Young Boy like hit up somebody that we both know and was like, "Get Adam on the phone." And he tried to call me, but it was like middle of the night, so I didn't pick up. He tried to call me twice because Young Boy told him to. Why? I don't though? know. I don't know Why if he was he mad. You? He got he thought it was He's funny. angry. He he cursed me out for calling him angry. Really? Yeah. See, it's weird because if Young Boy told me like take that Selena interview down, I'd be like, "No, like sorry, no. I know you're gonna be he, mad, but he, it's not happening." He sent me a video and cursed me out. Really? Really? Yeah, because someone asked me on my live. They was like, oh, what do you think about young boy's music? I don't, I think he's disrespectful. I, I said, I just think he's an angry little boy. Mm -hmm. And He didn't appreciate that? What was that for? He was like, fuck talking about me, bitch. Like, yo, yo. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, but before that, he was, oh my gosh. He was in my DM and I was like, why are you so angry? Like, he was talking to me very aggressively. So I'm like, you're an angry little boy. So I just, like, that was something that was already mentioned before I mentioned it on the live stream, and he didn't take it too personal until I said it on the live. So I'm like, oh, fuck you. I, I've been told you you was angry. Like, right. be easy, little boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's definitely angry. Yeah, he is. He Clearly. cursed me out because I said he was angry. I was like, if you was trying to prove to me that you're not angry, you didn't do a good job. Mm, because you calling him an angry little boy. I mean, I don't think you could really argue that he's angry. And then, I mean, he's like, what, like 18? Like, he's definitely, exactly. he's pretty young compared to you. Yes. So, and his name is so, Young Boy. True, true statement. So. Yes. I'm not understanding how that was a valid point to curse my ass out. But really? aren't rappers like supposed to be angry? Is it like a bad thing to say? No, what the fuck they angry Not, about? They you, rapping, they rich, yeah. they, they what? But I feel like a lot of their music is angry. And sometimes, but even if you're angry on the song, it doesn't give you an excuse to be fucking super aggressive in real life. No, even no though obviously a lot just, of people I'm, are. I'm just trying to say that her statement is true and that I don't think he should have been offended by it. No. That's what I'm saying. I think he was just looking for a reason. Yeah. So like DM me because I curved him so It's like hard. if I called you a loud mouth, then you and if you got mad at me, like you're a loud mouth. That's well, your job. You're I'm fucking, a loud mouth, yeah. yeah. Like offended? people call me a gossip queen, I'm like Okay. Yeah, it's your job so, to be like, I'm, you know. It's my job to talk about shit. Of course, well, we I'm going to Florida. we went to Japan, the only thing I heard about was Offset and Cardi B broke up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Babe, look at all this cool Japanese shit. Car Car Cardi B and Offset. Cardi B and Offset. I was Not like, only I that, know. but because of fucking uh, Cuban Doll and uh, uh, Summer, what's her name? Uh, yeah. That was so great. See, I wasn't paying attention. How was that interview when she just got up and left? <laughs> So funny. How do you deal with that shit? Like she was fucked up or something, dude. I swear, the first time I met her, she was like energetic and like fun and nice and stuff. And then the second time I did the interview, I swear to God, she you was call on her in a good day. I guess I don't Maybe know. Maybe she but got nervous for an interview and just no. It's because no? she she went through some know. crazy stuff. She got dropped by her fucking management and everything. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But but. That's you know what's so weird though is that all these girls start out with doll in their name and then when they're change it. when they start to feel like their career maybe ain't working out the right way they decide to change it they so reinvent Cu themselves. cuban doll became cuban, cuban de savage. savage and now asian doll is like nah asian, fuck that i'm asian de brad <laughs> i didn't I realize that she had asian a doll. i fuck with asian doll too i'm not saying that her career ain't working like out or whatever very, i, I, I think like she's people, popping actually yeah, yeah. I, Super. I yeah. think people look past her though. I'm a still lot. mad that she tried to troll in the comments, trying to pretend like she was your side bitch. I did not appreciate you that. Her, Asian? Like, her, yeah, her. she was commenting on the shit, being like, "Oh, tell you tell your little girl about your side bitch." Blah blah blah. I was like, "This is not 
funny. You gotta catch the fade. She's gonna catch the fade with you, and you're gonna get your ass beat. It's on Instagram. No one's ever done shit like that to me. Listen, I'm sorry, I can't jump in, but you are gonna get beat up. Wait, so you're telling me bitches are respectful? I'm gonna get beat up for saying that she commented on your picture, acting like a side bitch. Asian doll, I'm I'm sorry, I just don't believe in you as a fighter, and she's got a lot of experience. I'm not even saying anything bad about her. I'm saying that she commented on your shit, and she said, "How are you setting her up for failure already?" Yeah, also he told Selena that she could kick my ass. I'm like, I could sit on her, and she would fucking die. <laughs> she's taller than you. She's tiny. So? <laughs> she's got more experience I'm gonna too. I'm gonna beat you she up. She said Selena's not a. Selena says she's not a fighter. You and I'm not think. either. I walked in. I didn't know she was here. I was like, hi, Selena. This is my main problem with Selena. Hi? Yeah, because I didn't oh. fucking know that she was This is my problem me. with Selena. <laughs> Tiger print shoulder tattoo. Or like uh, leopard, leopard print or whatever. That I can't. You, you're, you, you're correlating that with her ability to fight. You can't be my baby mama if you got that tattoo. I'm sorry. That's what? why I don't want you to get tattoos. Because if you get a bad tattoo, I'm never going to be able to look at you again. How did huh? this just go to tattoos? I'm what? very confused. I don't know. That's a good point. Are my, do you think any of my tattoos are bad? No, no actually, I, think I think you're I think great tattoos. Good. And if and you you're keep damn going lucky. this way, Thank you. then... Go I don't for it. have nothing super crazy. Yeah. I just don't think that, like, I feel like if you got sleeves and stuff, it would match you. I don't think that I have that aesthetic. Really? Like, Who said? <laughs> I think that it would look good on you. I think you would look like some fire thick, tatted up wow. bitch. Like, all right, I'm out. You Listen, you sleep on her. When I was 19, I was dating this girl and she had this tattoo on her back of some sort of like weird, like, what, like a tramp dancing stand? man. And it was like, <laughs> and it was like a flame around it. It was like a weird flame around this dancing man. Uh, she had got it in like Germany when she was like 14 or some shit. It was so bad. And well, but think about it. It's you like, have to fucking think about this dancing man every time you fucked her. Exactly. Every time I'm hitting it from the back, I'm looking at this stupid ass tattoo, like all these great memories. First time I ever did anal with a girl. Part of my brain was dedicated to this stupid ass <laughs> fl- dancing fucking dancing man, man tattoo. No. Well, I won't get anything on my back, so when you do it, I won't, you won't be distracted. Thank you. I mean, listen, she's got a pretzel tattooed next to her it's vagina. It's not a fucking pretzel, it's a heart. It's a right, heart, but it looks right? like a pretzel. Right, like, yeah. I was 17, leave me alone. It looked like right. uh, a handcuff. Uh, I mean, it was. Didn't just... you work at Famous Amos at the time? Or no, that's the cookie one. What's the, the, what's the pretzel one? Auntie Anne. Auntie Anne's. Did you work there at the no, time? No, this guy <laughs> in my Spanish class had a tattoo gun, okay, and I just let him practice. In class? <laughs> Heart tattoo your vagina clean. in class. <laughs> Not in class. Me and my friend were like, let's get matching heart piece hearts. And are you hers still was friends so with fucking her? crooked. Now you're friends I, with I, I still talk to her, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yours look pretty clean, though. Oh, no, I'm going to get it removed someday. You are? Yeah. Oh, just start that process. Except for now. it's right on my ovary, so unless it's going to mess with my ovary. I don't think the laser is going to fuck up your ovary. I don't know. I'm so paranoid that I'm not going to be able to have kids. <laughs> 